Green Manure, Wikipedia Audio In agriculture, green manure is created by leaving uprooted or sown crop parts to wither on a field so that they serve as a mulch and soil amendment. The plants used for green manure are often cover crops grown primarily for this purpose. Typically, they are plowed under and incorporated into the soil while green or shortly after flowering. Green manure is commonly associated with organic farming and can play an important role in sustainable annual cropping systems. Green manures usually perform multiple functions that include soil improvement and soil protection. Incorporation of green manures into a farming system can drastically reduce, if not eliminate, the need for additional products such as supplemental fertilizers and pesticides. Functions Limitations to consider in the use of green manure are time, energy, and resources required to successfully grow and utilize these cover crops. Consequently, it is important to choose green manure crops based on the growing region and annual precipitation amounts to ensure efficient growth and use of the cover crop. Green manure is broken down into plant nutrient components by heterotrophic bacteria that consumes organic matter. Warmth and moisture contribute to this process, similar to creating compost fertilizer. The plant matter releases large amounts of carbon dioxide and weak acids that react with insoluble soil minerals to release beneficial nutrients. Soils that are high in calcium minerals, for example, can be given green manure to generate a higher phosphate content in the soil, which in turn acts as a fertilizer. Leguminous green manures such as clover and vetch contain nitrogen-fixing symbiotic bacteria in root nodules that fix atmospheric nitrogen in a form that plants can use. This performs the vital function of fertilization. If desired, animal manures may also be added. The ratio of carbon to nitrogen in a plant is a crucial factor to consider since it will impact the nutrient content of the soil and may starve a crop of nitrogen, if the incorrect plants are used to make green manure. The ratio of carbon to nitrogen will differ from species to species, and depending upon the age of the plant. The ratio is referred to as Cn. The value of N is always 1 whereas the value of carbon or carbohydrates is expressed in a value of about 10 up to 90, the ratio must be less than 30 colon 1 to prevent the manure bacteria from depleting existing nitrogen in the soil. Rhizobium are soil organisms that interact with green manure to retain atmospheric nitrogen in the soil. Legumes, such as beans, alfalfa, clover, and lupins, have root systems rich in rhizobium, often making them the preferred source of green manure material. Late summer and fall green manure crops are oats and rye. Other green manure crops The value of green manure was recognized by farmers in India for thousands of years, as mentioned in treatises like Vriksha Urvita. In ancient Greece too, Farmers plowed broad bean plants into the soil. Chinese agricultural texts dating back hundreds of years refer to the importance of grasses and weeds in providing nutrients for farm soil. It was also known to early North American colonists arriving from Europe. Common colonial green manure crops were rye, buckwheat, and oats. Traditionally, the incorporation of green manure into the soil is known as the fallow cycle of crop rotation, which was used to allow the soil to regain its fertility after the harvest. Alfalfa, which sends roots deep to bring nutrients to the surface, buckwheat in temperate regions, cowpea, clover, fava beans, fenugreek. Ferns of the genus Azala have been used as a green manure in Southeast Asia, lupin, groundnut, millet, mustard, Phacelia tanacetifolia, 
radish such as tillage radish or dakin radish, says banya, sorghum, soybean, Sudan grass, sun hemp, a legume widely grown throughout the tropics and subtropics, tifone, a brassica known for a strong taproot that breaks up heavy soils. Velvet bean, common in the southern U.S. during the early part of the 20th century, before being replaced by soybeans, popular today in most tropical countries, especially in Central America, where it is the main green manure used in slash slash mulch farming practices, veg. Nutrient creation Green manure crops History